I could mood, so I'm soaping. Soaping makes me feel better. I'm kind of in a depressed mood. So I thought I'd make a soap. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and buzz what's in my bottom, which is my oatmeal, cane and clay, and goat's milk. <laughs> All right, Let's go ahead. In here, I've got heavy cream and um, yogurt. Yogurt is fabulous for. Um, Can you about her to go to on the 16th? Easter yeah. Sunday? Uh, yogurt is fabulous for soap. So let's get that in there. Give that a little buzz up. You know what? I forgot to put my sodium lactate in my, um, Y. So let me do that really quick. And I really don't measure, I just know how much a squirt is. So it's one, two, three. So let's get that mixed up. Alright. Now, uh, the soap we're doing today is called Tropical Soda Pop. And I've got a really bright yellow. Then we've got Peacock Blue from Mad Oils and Majestic Blue from Mad Oils. Oh, not Mad Oils, but my is more. And then I got a teal, which I'm going to put this uh, sparkly in with the teal. And my teal is in my little um, containers that I made my colorants in. And then we'll have just a tiny, any bitsy little bit of white. So let's go ahead and get our lie in. Brian said driving. Oh, okay. Missing my sweetums. What did you say that to him? Is he your sweetums, Lissa? All right, let me rinse this out for my stick blender. Water to my stick blender this time. I've done that twice in one week. All right, I'm going to go ahead, and I don't know how this um, performs. Uh, according to Nature's Garden, it rices. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in now to take care of the ricing issue before I put it into my colors. Because it says it don't accelerate, but it does rice. So I'm going to take care of that in the beginning. That way we don't have to deal with blending a whole bunch um, once I get my colors in. I don't see much rising. Hmm. We're going to be piping this soap too. Uh, my piping is going to be blue and teal. That looks good and emulsified. I just didn't want to have to deal with the uh, ricing. And it looks good and um, fluid. So, Alright, where is my scale? Turn anything on and copyright me. I'll listen to it later.
All right, guys, so I got everything measured out. See, there's my yellow, there's my teal, my white. Go ahead and put my white and teal in. There's my white. And then with my teal, I'm going to put some teal and some sparkly teal in it to make it sparkle. the lightest we'll do our white remember I just want a little bit of contrast on the white I don't want a lot of white I just want it there to where you can see some of it and we're going to do a hanger swirl today there's my white, now my yellow. my stick blender off. Okay, now blue. There's that blue, then my blue for my piping. to do the teal in here which I can just do that real quick and my sparkly I'm gonna put as much as I put in my other one but put a little bit in there And then my dark blue. This is such a pretty blue. Such a pretty dark blue. So pretty. I was going to put some orange in this too, but I thought, nah. I'm going to stick with the blues and the yellow. I was going to pipe yellow and blue. But that's how I just did my, um, that's how I just did my Beauty and the Beast. So I thought, no, I will pipe the blue and the teal. Everything is still nice and fluid. That one is very pigmented. Let's put that there. You can't really see my sparkle. Oh, 
I wanted some sparkly, sparkly. What was that? Maybe it all floated to the bottom. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it. It's just very subtle. Okay. And we're doing just my little 2.3 pound mold. I say two and a half, but it's really 2.3 pounds. That's how much it holds. So if you guys ever want to know these green molds or the white ones from Crafter's Choice, I got mine from Soapy Supplies. These molds hold 2.3 pounds of soap. Total weight. So let me get my hanger tool. Make sure that's the right one. Yep, it is. There's my hanger tool. So now I'm just going to start layering in some of these colors. And I know I don't have gloves on, guys. I ran out of gloves and I don't have the money to go get any more right now. So you're just going to have to deal with me being gloveless. Sorry. I'm an experienced soap maker. I know what to do if I get lie on me, which usually I don't. But don't yell at me, guys. I know what I'm doing. A little bit of white. And of course, my white is more fluid than anything. My white always stays more fluid than any color I have. Like, my other colors can be thickening up, like majorly. And my white will just be still as fluid as ever. And I'm just throwing it in there any old way. Because we're going to be doing the hanger. So it doesn't really matter how it goes in. It's going to look pretty. I think the yellow and the white is going to give it a nice contrast. Come out. A little bit more white. Okay. Get back in there. All right. And I'm not going to save none for the top because we are piping. If that's Stephanie, tell her I'm doing a soap video. thing about not having gloves is I can't get all of the soap off my spatula. Oh my goodness, did you guys hear the news? My daughter told me about this. About this little 11 year old boy. Um, his girlfriend pranked, killed herself. And he actually went home and killed himself. Like, he thought she for real killed herself. And he went home and really done it. I mean, could you imagine that happening to one of your kids? I mean, I could not imagine that happening you guys that is just like so sad I mean it made me want to cry it's like oh my gosh that poor boy and their parents I mean and, and imagine what she feels like you know I mean she has got to feel like the worst in the world for what she did because her action made somebody die 
That has got to be the worst feeling in the world. I know I would feel like complete crap. Now, I would never try to pretend to kill myself. That's something I would never do. But, I mean, I know she's just a kid. But still. And it's just so sad that I heard about that. And my mom's like, or my mom, my daughter's like, Mom, where have you been? This has been all over the news. I don't watch the news, guys. The news depresses me. I do not watch the news. So. See, it says 11 year old boy kills himself after an alleged social media prank and another child is charged. Well, she should be charged. Mom seeks justice and 11 year old suicide girl bully needs to pay up. But it wasn't the bully, it was a girlfriend. Now they're saying it was a bully. It was, her, it was his girlfriend. He said it was. I know it was his girlfriend. Prosecutors have charged the 13-year-old girl with computer-related crimes in this case. Okay, it says Tyson, is a little boy's name, has hanged himself apparently because his 13-year-old girlfriend allegedly faked her death. The online prank led to criminal charges this week against the 8th grade girl who prosecutors believe crossed the line. I think she deserves the highest punishment that she can get for her age. Um, even though you were, even though you were young, you can still commit a crime. God says she's intelligent. She knows right from wrong. She's 13. She took advantage of a little, of a little 11 year old. I feel like she deserves a full extent of punishment of her age. The girl who is not known as she. Okay, the girl has been charged with telecommunication services, malas, malicious use, and using a computer to commit a crime, which. Um, Carries the maximum punishment of one year in jail, according to authorities. It was the it was a hoax. I just felt like we had an impact on the 13 year old, not necessarily punitive, but an accountability mark. I mean, posting the hoax of somebody dying was pretty reckless. Yeah, that was pretty reckless. That's not something to joke joke about, you know. Okay, it says Tyson was texting or Snapchatting with his part with a person he thought was his girlfriend's friend. He read a post that she that said uh, his girlfriend had committed suicide. Tyson responded saying he was going to kill himself too, but and those involved in the prank never texted back. That was it was only a joke. Nor did they alert any adult about Tyson's pain uh, plan. The person who wrote the post was actually the girlfriend who had borrowed a friend's account to pretend to be her and faked her own death. She used her friend's account to make it look like she died. Even when she, even when he said he was going to kill himself, she didn't say, I'm just kidding. She just left it alone, stressing she's sharing the story. It's not dealt with, and it's just a huge issue that should be dealt with naturally because Tyson should be... Tyson should be the face of this issue. He is someone that you would never think that would happen to. I just can't say enough. He was amazing and everybody adored him. That is so sad. Do you hear that, you guys? That is so sad. Like, I would die if my child done that. I mean, I would literally die. Alright, guys. So, uh, my piping's not yet set up. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to go away for a minute and then we'll come back when it's ready and then we'll pipe the top. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so we are back and I don't know what piping tip this is. It seems like my teal is more set up than my blue.
think maybe one pound wasn't too much and 10 ounces is not enough. it's going to get. I don't want too bad, I don't guess. Let me get some glitter. So next time I know 10 ounces is not nowhere near enough. But it still looks good. Did you run out? Yeah. So maybe you didn't 14. You run out. Yeah, I did. Where? I ran out. It's, it's all piped. No, not how I like to usually do it. It doesn't matter, it still looks pretty. I want a lot of sparkle on this one. I can't see. Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm getting ready to show ya. Get off my fingers. Alright guys, so here is our Tropical Soda Pop. That's what it looks what? like. Tropical Soda Pop. A what? Tropical Soda Pop. Soda Pop? Yep. Um, and I think it looks fabulous. Even though I could have let my blue set up just a little bit more, I still think it looks good. But anyway, guys, so it's going to be cutting in about one, two, three. What'd you be one, two, three? Anyways, this came out of the mold very, very, very good. Did not stick nothing. I think I put just the right amount of sodium lactate in it. I did cut down the side because the piping was like overlapping. So I cut down that side and that side. That way it'd be flush to the to the soap. So we're gonna go ahead and get this baby cut. Let me tighten my wire here. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and get just a tiny end piece. It does that every time. Dang it. Every time I get an end piece, it drags it. <sighs> and I can already see that it's going to be pretty on the inside. I hope I didn't muddy it up by swirling it too much. We shall see. Ooh, look how pretty. See, that side's the side that I messed it up. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. It's a smaller piece, but I fixed it somewhat. But isn't it pretty? There's the top. And I realized I was spending so much money on paper towels. So I've cut up a couple uh, old shirts. And I've been using them instead of paper towels. Oops, I got a hole there. But that is so pretty, guys. The swirl is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the top. Move this over here. I might have um, swirled it just a little bit too much, but I don't think it's that bad. I think it looks good. The yellow with the blues, I think it looks pretty. And then, I'm still guessing about how much piping I should use when I pipe these little two and a half pound molds. And I know one pound is too much. And I have figured out with this batch that 10 ounces is not enough. So we might go to 12 ounces and see how that does. Because I know that 16 ounces is way too much for piping on this mold. So we shall see. And it's still a little sticky. As you can see, my hands has got blue on it. But I think it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And right now, my uh, Beauty and the Beast soap is um, editing. It is um, going through the little process, and I'll be having it uploaded here soon. And I just wanted to remind the winners, guys. Um, not all of you has contacted me 
and gave me your info for um, the winning of the Argon Me Oil, um, the Argon Me um, Silk uh, Lotion, and then the Bell's Facial Cream. And then this is the last piece, and I'll cut that into samples. But isn't that gorgeous? I thought it was gorgeous. All right, so you guys need to um, contact me about the um, um, the winning. That way, I can give you my um, PayPal info, and you can give me the shipping. Um, if I don't hear from you within the next three days, the ones that have not contacted me, I am going to do another drawing, and I will pick more winners. Because I've it's been several, several days that video has been up and nobody has contacted me. Only about four people has. So contact me please about your winnings. Um, when you commented, you understood that you would be paying for some shipping. I'm sorry that I can't ship it out to you without paying for the shipping. That would, if I paid the shipping on all of the winners, I would be spending 50 bucks. And right now, I don't have that kind of money. I am really tight on money right now, actually. Um, so, if you won, then please, please get a hold of me in the comments below or email me at sealockcandles at gmail.com so we can get your product out to you and I can give you my PayPal info. But yeah, alright guys, uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell. When you click on the bell when you subscribe, then you'll be notified of all of my new videos. I do put videos out at least twice a week. Um, I like to make soap. It gets my mind off of what's going on around me. Um, a lot is going on. And oh, guess what guys? I know I've got a job now, but I think I've found a better job. So I want you guys to pray for me because I have... I mean, I want this job so bad, and it's at assisted living facility, it's a good stable job with good stable hours, and I hope and pray I got the job the way that she was sounding, uh, that I did get the job, she just had to do a background check on me, which I didn't mind, so hopefully I do get the job, the only thing is, is that it's third shift, so, but a job is a job. And uh, I would be happy with any good paying job. The job I have now just isn't cutting it. They're only working me like two, three hours once a week for my training. Um, and I'm just not, I mean, my last check was $35. And I'm sorry, $35 is not going to pay my lot bill. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe, hit the little bell, and like and comment. You know, I love it when you guys comment. It makes my day. I comment back to you. I talk to you. All right, guys, until the next video. Bye-bye.